Now we have a game that pretty much works. You can take a guess, and if the number is too high, too low, or good, then you get a great alert that tells you what's going on. If you don't enter anything, we tell you that too. But one really important feature is to know how many guesses you've taken so far, because that becomes kind of a score. If somebody guesses only three times and they get the right answer, well, they're pretty good at this game. If they take 100 times to guess, well, they're pretty bad at the game. So we want to create a variable which keeps track of how many guesses you've taken. So let's create it right underneath the number variable. And we're going to call it, let me click over here, and we're going to call this, first we save our number guesses. And right away, when you start, first start the game, you haven't taken any guesses. So it should be zero. And we've got our variable. And now, every time you guess, we should increase that variable by one, add one to it, and let's let the user know how many guesses so far. So, number guesses is equal to whatever it, the number of guesses was. So, I'm going to write number of guesses again here. If this was zero, we want to add one to it. And so this value will be the old value of the number of guesses, <clears throat> plus one more, and it'll get assigned to itself again, number of guesses. So let's increase it by one. And then we've got to display this information to the user, so we'll just make another alert. Uh, number guesses, and then we're going to add a little little string here. Guesses have occurred. <laughs> there we go. Now this is an interesting feature of WebStorm. You can uh, check spelling here, and you can see that. I misspelled occurred because there are two R's in there. So let's try it. Take a guess. Shh, number's 12. So far, this is my first guess. One guesses have occurred. Now we can take a guess. I didn't even see, I didn't even notice what the uh, actual number was. So I'm just going to guess 52. The guess was too high. Well, let's try it one more time. Make sure that the number of guesses now should say 2 guesses have occurred. Oh, it was 12. Two guesses have occurred. There we go. 